This is Jay here and and this is the review series for King's Beast Volume 1. So this review series is going to be me reviewing each volume individually so there are going to be spoilers. I will do a spoiler review video of the King's Beast series as a whole at some point but this video is going to be full of spoilers so please only watch this if you've read Volume 1. I'm doing these videos as I read each volume, so there's going to be no spoilers for future volumes. I may think out loud about what I think is going to happen to these characters, but they're all going to be my thoughts, so they are most likely going to be incorrect. So let's start with the front cover. It's a really, really pretty front cover. Um, Lots of detail, fine detail. I love these flowers around the main character. They're so pretty. When I first saw the volume, I thought the the pink around the, the title was a really bold choice. I wasn't sure about it. But the more I look at it, the more the more I really, really like it. Um, and the back, you can see the characters, Rongetsu, Prince Tenyu, and Taihaku. Apologies for the uh, pronunciation on those. But uh, yeah, so the front cover is absolutely beautiful. Loving the colours. So when I first started this, I was looking forward to a really good revenge story. And this first volume certainly seems to set it up for that. We get a backstory section about Rongetsu and when she lost her, her brother Sogetsu. It was pretty brutal, I thought anyway, and set the scene well for what kind of society they live in and how humans treat Aijin generally. It has a teen rating, so there's a limit to what can be shown or drawn and told, but that, I don't think that hindered the story at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Whilst awful that Sogetsu was taken from Rongetsu, um, she kind of seemed pacified by the fact that at least he's going somewhere that seems relatively safe. Not, he's, you know, he's not on the streets anymore, and hopefully, you know, he'll be living in a lovely-looking palace. Um, but then he dies, and that sets the story off. She wants to kill Prince Tenyu. She thinks that she thinks that he had something to do with his death because Sogetsu was under his care, and she thinks he either allowed it or had him killed. And I do just want to say, um, like all the way through these volumes, when Rei Toma draws Sogetsu, it it's so cute. Um, he's so young, and his smile is just adorable. So it's really heartbreaking that he did die. Um, but yeah, go, so going back to the part where Rongetsu is introduced, her entrance is awesome. So she comes in with wearing this really cool mask, um, really pretty but also slightly creepy and I thought that was the perfect introduction for her. So she comes in and she meets Prince Tenyu and I'm really looking forward to meeting the Prince's family and seeing what they're like and what their relationship is with each other and it'll be really interesting to see um, his family's other beast servants as well. But volume 1 really focuses on Rongetsu discovering that Prince Tenyu is not the one responsible for her brother's death and that he, he really mourned Sogetsu. And I like the flashback which allowed us to see a younger Prince Tenyu get along with Sogetsu. So, so Tenyu really comes across as a kind young man in this flashback and it really broke my heart because seeing Sogetsu's hand in a pool of blood it's really sad, he was so young, like, why did he have to die? <laughs> um, but we, we see that Prince Tenyu, unlike other humans, he doesn't appear to hate Arjun, and he doesn't treat them poorly because they're different. And we see this when he rushes to get medicine for Rangetsu, because he thinks she's hurt, she's fine, but the thought was there. So you kind of have this hope for the future of the country, because he obviously is a genuinely nice person, and he has this kindness for other people, regardless of their class or station. 
And then we have this guy. I've given him a grumpy face because this is Taihaku and he is an a-hole, in my opinion. His character is not off to the best start in this volume. I'm hoping that changes and there's some character development, some growth there, because that would be good, but um, at the moment he is not a pleasant person. My overall view of this manga is that it's off to a good start. There's been nothing amazing plot-wise, but it's certainly an interesting concept. Um, and you know, you've got that social structure between humans and Arjun. Hopefully this story is going to build into lots of political intrigue in future volumes. At least that's what I'm hoping for. And I really like the art, especially the feature panels. I don't know if they're called that, but like the, you know, the extra special panels that stand out and you know, they focus maybe on the character's facial expression, they've got lots of, put lots of effort and detail into it. And I love the detail with the hair in these panels. That's something I've really missed from not reading shoujo manga for a while. Um, because it has been a while. Um, I was massively into shoujo when I was a teenager. And then I went to university and I just couldn't afford to keep buying it at the same rate that I was. So for many years I didn't read manga, but now I'm back in the swing of things and boy, had I forgotten how dramatic reading shoujo manga was. Um, there are like outright declarations of their feelings for each other in this volume. They were literally shouting their feelings from the rooftops. But I definitely wouldn't change this for the world. <laughs> it's so good to get back into shoujo manga. I have made a terrible, and it's definitely going to be a terrible guess as to which of Prince Tenyo's brothers uh, killed Sogetsu. I've used all my cunning and knowledge of the three brothers, which is, we've just seen a picture of three of them, and I've deduced that it's the middle one pictured in the panel, um, the one who looks quite sweet and innocent. Um, I picked this guy because obviously it's him, right? It's always the sweet and innocent ones. Um, so I think this is going to be a horrifically wrong <laughs> prediction, but I always like to make a prediction um, at the start of a of an investigation, if you will. So, probably in future videos, I will be backtracking on that thought. <laughs> anyway, so thank you for watching, and if you have any thoughts about the first volume, if you hated it or loved it, please do let me know in the comments below. But bye guys, thank you, and please do like and subscribe.